We're here in Alexandra Palace for the London Bike Show, which is the UK's largest bike exhibition. Uh, there's loads of incredible tech here, including some beautiful custom paint jobs, which have already caught my eye. So I'm gonna head to those first. I'm on the hunt for hot tech. I'm on the light lock stand and this is incredible. There's just loads of custom painted bikes on it and that's because they're running a competition for people at the show who can come and vote on which one they think is the best. And then they also get entered into a raffle to win bike locks, which is, well, everyone's a winner. But some of these bikes are incredible. I've got to show you this first one over here. This is a Scott Patron e-bike. I know, but bear with me, because look at the paint job. This has been painted by friend of the channel, as I'm, I'm proud to say, Ali McLean from Fat Creations. And it's, oh, it's, it's just, I mean, I'm lost for words. It's got this amazing splatter design with like green smoky bits in it and then the gold leaf Scott logos and, and the Fox Forks logos. And then it turns into this like marble effect design. But the attention to detail is astounding. I mean, if you look here at the, the bike lock, the light lock, he's painted that as well. And the wheel rims and everything, it's just, Oh, unbelievable. But then behind me here, as I awkwardly shimmy round, is this uh, canyon, which has been, well, unveiled for the first time here. And it's their green bike project. So it's meant to be the most environmentally friendly bike that they could possibly do. It's kind of like a concept bike, because as we have learned recently, you know, in quite a few shows we've, we've talked about, carbon fiber bikes, they're not great for the environment as they're not very easy to recycle. This is made from 3D printed uh, laser sintered aluminium so it's much more recyclable and it's just got this really incredible kind of like truss fork design which presumably sort of adds strength without weight and then the frame as well is kind of like a truss design um, too and I've, I've not really seen anything like it before but it's quite nice how they've got these green um, SRAM cranks and then they've painted the rear derailleur green as well to sort of just give a bit of a well, I don't know, so allude to the green credentials. But that's not all. There is some other really amazing bikes here that I have to show you. There's a cool Cannondale System 6 here. It's been uh, custom painted by a chap called Ed Curtis, but the design is Stella McCartney. So it's a bit like a zebra, except not a zebra. But over here, this incredible looking machine is an Onguza. And you've probably not heard of one before because, well, it's a small sort of bespoke frame building company out of Namibia. This was actually fabricated on a small dusty farm in Namibia, um, I'm told. And it's a steel uh, frame fitted with SRAM Red 1x. It's also got the uh, RockShox Explore gravel fork on and RockShox Explore reverb dropper post on here that's wireless to the shifters, which is particularly cool. And the idea behind this bike is it's just rugged and reliable and it's gonna take the punishment of riding those sort of dusty uh, trails out in, in sub-Saharan Africa. And this exact bike is actually going to be raced on by Dan Craven in the great migration uh, bike race, adventure race, in Kenya uh, later in the year, in June, which is very cool. But I'm, I like the paint job. I, mean, I don't think there's enough lot, sort of leopard print paint jobs on bikes these days. But, um, well, let us know in the comments if you agree or disagree with that statement. Something really, really quite cool here. This is a company called Movity. They're a startup. That means keep moving in Italian. And this is a tilt bike that you can steer. Now, it's a smart bike, a bit like a, well, Wahoo kicker bike. It's got power meter built in and all the other adjustability and functionality you'd expect. But this one steers and it tilts. Now, at the moment, this functionality doesn't exist in things like Zwift, but we've been told in the past that it is coming and it seems like the next logical step, but they have hooked it up to this uh, Xbox mountain bike game and you can actually steer in game using this as a controller. And it's, well, it's amazing. It's just a really immersive experience that, well, I could just totally change indoor training. And I really does do hope it sort of comes to fruition in more forms. Now, they reckon that this is going to be available in about a year's time. It's still at the prototype stage at the moment, and they're sort of aiming for around the same sort of price point as other sort of leading smart bikes. But, as I said, this one's got steering. Always guaranteed to find some cool gadgets on the Topeak stand, and they've delivered once again. So check these out. These are awesome. The little uh, mini pumps. I've got a little roadie mini pump like this. It's, it's great. It fits in your pocket. It's so compact. But they've now put their two-stage technology into them. So you can actually adjust it by twisting this little 
sort of switch on the bottom and it allows you to switch between high volume and high pressure. It's been in their track pumps for a few years now and this technology is really useful because it's especially good at seating tubeless tyres. When you first want to get your tubeless tyre to seat you can switch it to the high volume mode and then once it's seated and you just want to get the air in you use the high pressure setting and then because of the sort of improvements in technology and the ways in which they're able to machine these pumps with higher accuracy now, you can get up to 300 PSI, which is astounding. What is the ultimate vehicle for a cyclist? Well, it, it might be these vans. So these are custom vans that have been done by a company called CJL Leisure Vans. They're based in the southwest of England and they just totally pimp out uh, VW vans and also Ford Transit Customs. This one is amazing. So it's actually owned by someone who's a friend of mine called uh, Alan Murchison, aka the performance chef. We've got a documentary about him but he's a Michelin starred uh, chef who now works with pro cyclists and uh, well I'm going to take you inside have a look it's incredible. So <laughs> the seats have all just been completely uh, well reupholstered and pimped out. You've got a coffee machine here and it's not just any coffee machine I mean it's a it's a high spec coffee machine uh, obviously cyclists love coffee and it can be lowered and raised here. Also check out the grinder as well, that's a seriously high spec grinder. This seat spins around so you create this sort of living space. You've got your sink here and like other appliances in here and stuff you can keep in there, sockets, all these little storage holes and then you've got the pop top so you can actually have a bed here and sleep um, above up here and then in the back I've got to show you this as well, it's amazing. So in the back, you've got all this racking to just store your bikes and all your stuff. You've got stuff for helmets and, and all sorts. It's just, the, you know, keeps your bikes and they lock into place with these mounts on the floor and on the ceiling. And then you can actually also, as an option, I'm told, get um, a jet wash built into the back here so that you can either use that as a shower and have a curtain that drops down out the back of this pop top or you can just use it to hose down your bikes and this can be made into a wet room so that that's all all sealed i mean it's uh, it's it's just ridiculous it's the stuff of cycling dreams <laughs> Over on the Halo stand, and they've got some rather bling new uh, carbon wheels. So they're a brand that have sort of roots in mountain biking, but they've started making some road wheels and some carbon ones, and they're really cool. So they're available in three depths. You've got 35, 50, and these 80 deep big boys. But what's really cool about these wheels are the hubs. So they've got 120 points of engagement. So you've got that sort of like instantaneous engagement. And well, they, they say that the hubs are really, really robust because they've got their mountain biking background of making, well, it has to be bomb proof. Listen to this, right? This is a, this is a good free up sound check. Rude. Wow. Go and uh, cool myself down after that. Everyone loves super lightweight stuff, so I had to show you these time pedals. So these are the X Pro 15s. They used to be called the Espresso 15s, and this is the latest sort of iteration. They've evolved slightly. One of the big changes I can see is that they're now rounder than uh, than what they used to be. These have some quite sort of sharp edges on them, and that on the carbon composite body. But they're just so much lighter than kind of any of the other mainstream pedal brands sort of offerings really so just 174 grams for a pair of these making them considerably lighter than Look or Shimano and that's because they've got titanium axles carbon uh, composite body and they also have ceramic bearings in them as well to make them super smooth but oh, they're just a really nice object this pedal design is quite different as well it uses sort of a leaf spring design and it offers a considerable amount of float what are they saying it is now 17 degrees of float it's quite a lot of float Oh man, like if there's one thing I love almost as much as bikes, it's cars. And this is an amazing team car. So this, well, it's not a team car. It's a service car from the Giro d'Italia from 1983. It's a Mercedes 280 TE, which, cool fact for you, is the first production estate that Mercedes made. It's got an a inline six twin cam 2.8 litre engine that's good enough for 130 miles an hour and produces 183 buff ponies. It's not just a car that's amazing. Check out this racking. It's on the top. It's like the vintage style racking that they used to put attached onto the roof bars. And then it's got some nice bikes as well. So obviously all, all tubulars, but you've got the uh, Sean Kelly Vitus on there. And then this really nice Bonotto frame. Oh, 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 I mean, the bikes are just as nice as the car. 
A couple of really cool things on the canyon stand. Firstly, we've got the bike here of Ironman Kona world champion Jan Frodeno. Um, what's amazing about his Canyon Speedmax is is the cockpit setup. So this is actually proprietary Canyon. It's not one of the custom things that we often see now. But these arm pads are amazing. Like they're really like long. They really like fully support your your full forearm. So the hand position really interests me because in triathlon you're not limited by the UCI rules and. But most of the time you see riders now going for the high hands sort of praying mantis position But he's got like a low hands position and you can actually see it's marked off here with a bit of gold pen on the adjustable Canyon Cockpit and you've got his uh, blip shifters in the end so he can change gear which is really nice and convenient But yeah a bit of an unusual position that and also his saddle because he does 180 kilometer bike splits in a TT position I mean, I'm, It doesn't look doesn't look that comfortable to me, but <laughs> each their own. Around here, Matty Vanderpool's bike. Have a look at this. This is Vanderpool's Aeroad CFR that um, he got after winning stage two of the Tour de France last year, um, which he won in just emphatic style when he attacked up the murder Britannia and uh, beat Alaphilippe. And I mean, well, resplendent in yellow. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Also quite interesting just looking at his setup and his saddle and his bar tape, which is very smart. Well, there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the London Bike Show and all the hot tech and cool paint jobs that they have on display. Let us know what your favourite thing is down in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Subscribe, thumbs up. And if you'd like to get yourself on well, some great merch, I mean the best, then head over to shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com.